Terms of insurance and the growth of any economy cannot be overemphasized. Hence, it should be part of daily lives of individuals. These were the views of experts at the 2023 Insurance Stakeholders Consultative Forum held in Lagos. Plus, TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more in this report. These are stakeholders from the insurance sector gathered at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI. They are here to forge the path towards the growth of the Nigerian insurance sector, which is a contributor to economic growth. Themed Rethinking Insurance as a Critical Economic Growth Strategy, President of the Chamber, Dr. Michael Olawale Cole, noted that the industry, despite its enormous potentials, is still at its infancy and far behind its African peers. He noted that despite the substantial role played by insurance, the great expansion seen in the financial services sector over the last decade has not been replicated in the sector. We have challenges faced by stakeholders. These challenges include limited awareness among the general population regarding the importance of insurance. We have the issue of low purchasing power, which also is a challenge for us in this industry. How will people to have insurance? Where they themselves or their family. Olawale Cole, who cited Global Insurance Market Report, which says insurance penetration rates for Nigeria and South Africa is 0.5 and 12.2 respectively, said the future of the sector hinges on the extent and speed of digital transformation. I don't know what right now. Insurance is sold more on platforms. The world is gone beyond face to face. Of course, I will still be there, but they love to get sold on platforms. So, CIT is a place which the insurance industry is trying to do its best to not go into. In his keynote, Commissioner National Insurance Commission, Sandy Thomas, highlighted the importance of educating the public on the need for insurance. It's more for that not to talk about penetration. But I think what we should be looking at should be the extent to which we are risking our economy. Because that is where the quality of our relevance to the economy and the growth of the economy stays. And when you talk about the, the risking of the economy, you are talking about to what extent are you protecting the different fibers of the economy? When there's an eventuality, sometimes you may not know the value of insurance until that happens. So if I pick it from that angle, in 2022, we paid, um, I think, a total of 129 billion, you know. Into the, back into the Nigerian economy. And what that means is that if that one, two, nine billion is mixing, uh, it could have led to a lot of things. So that's one of the value you, you, you look at. They maintained that insurance as a risk mitigation strategy also provides the required peace of mind for individuals and corporate institutions providing the required impetus and catalyst for business conception, venture and growth. Love Ikuku Oyedoku Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.